Um, but yeah, they're going through this whole pyramid, and there's aliens trying to get them, and all these different areas that are just made to kill them. Like, there's this woman, woman that's going through a tube, and all these tentacles grab her. They have, like, these knives on her, and they, just, they start pulling her down and just ripping her apart. Um, it's like a sci-fi gore horror movie, if that makes sense. Um, interesting. Um, but I could see why it's just really on VHS. Um, it's not super duper great, but it's, it's interesting. Uh, worth a watch if you can get a hold of it. So, yeah. Uh, three more. And I'm going to be done. So, let me go through these quick. Uh, this is a Anchor Bay release of a double pack for Return to Horror High and the Return of the Killer Tomatoes. I didn't have Return to Horror High, so I figured I'd get that. I have all the Killer Tomatoes movies, though. Uh, this is one of George Clooney's first movies, Return to Horror High, and I think George Clooney's in Return of the uh, Return of Killer Tomatoes too, if I'm not mistaken. He's in one of the fucking Return of the Killer, the Killer Tomato movies. I believe he's in Return. Anyway. Um, Return of Horror High is good, and if you're not a fan of Killer Tomatoes, you're not going to like the sequels. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, really quick, I want to talk about. Uh, uh, National Lampoon's Senior Trip. Um, this is probably where the National Lampoon's movies... Kind of started shit in the bed. This is where it first started. Um, I believe this movie was made like 1994, 97, something like that. Anyway, um, the movie's like um, a bunch of like kind of slacker um, high school students get invited to um, speak with the president about an education plan and. Um, because one of the students is like a smart girl and just kind of got lumped in with them. And the whole thing is about going to Washington and being, going there and all the shenanigans happen and shit like that. Um, Tommy Chong's the bus driver and stuff like of that sort. Um, uh, Kevin McDonald's in there is like a psycho, like a Star Trek guy that's trying to kill some of the kids on the bus. Um... I mean, it's interesting, but you're, it, it's like a, it's like a, you know, stupid comedy. But it's a lot better than barely legal National Lampoons or Dorm Days or, in my opinion, any of the fucking American Pie atrocities. Um, that movie sucks. Um, yeah, but Senior Trip, you might like it. It's definitely no Animal House or you know, National Lampoons Vacation, but it's interesting. Lastly, the last movie I've... Actually, I'll do this real quick. I'm just going to say these. Um, I got All the Heroes, Season 2. Um, I've seen it when they're on TV, but I have not watched all the, these discs. Because they're the bl- uh, Blockbuster discs. But they're really awesome. My girlfriend got me these because she is the best. Um, this, lastly, I have to talk about this movie. Because this movie makes me so fucking sad. The Jackhammer Massacre. I am sad that I paid $3 for this movie. Because it's not worth a diddly shit. When you think of a movie called Jackhammer Massacre... Well, first off, I thought of Nailgun Massacre when I heard Jackhammer Massacre. Um, but you think it's like a slasher movie of some sort. No. This movie is bullshit. You know why? Because it's a guy that's on crack... Right? And he gets like this super crack. And he's in a furniture store where he's the crazy crackhead fucking security guard. Goes crazy and starts killing people. Or not, it's not a furniture store. It's like an uh, auto parts place. And he goes fucking cra- crazy and starts killing people. Everyone that comes into this fucking place with a, an electric jackhammer. This movie's fucking retarded. He just goes around, he's all paranoid, he's all, like, drooling and shit like that. He's all cracked out. And he's just killing people with a jackhammer. He's killing people with fucking, like, stupid shit, like, um, a plastic bag or something. And it's from the same... It's The movie's made by, uh, Joe Castro, who's the same person who did Terror Tunes. And from what another Cafe Java told me is that, I guess after, um, they, uh, New Line... Not New Line... 
Telltale's in Lionsgate, like Terror Tombs. They gave him like carte blanche to make like a fucking bunch of movies, this being one of them. And this movie's fucking terrible. Like, I think this movie's got like a 1.5 on IMDb, if I'm not mistaken. This movie would be on a high fucking list on my worst movies that I own. It's goddamn terrible. It's, it's, you know, when you hear Jackhammer Massacre, you don't expect a crazy crackhead with electric jackhammer going and killing people that come into his building. <sighs> Fuck. I hate that movie. Anyway, that's it. If you watched all this, these four parts, then you're fucking nuts. Um, that's all I got to say. I will be back, hopefully, in a week or two with another DVD update. But this has been my DVD update, or Blu-ray and DVD update, for December 2nd, 2009. Goodbye, YouTube.